TP-Link lent me this and I bought these two, which probably doesn't make sense, but it does. Today I'm going to share with you how I have my network Wi-Fi set up in an area of 480 square meters with the backyard that you already know, the front yard and the three-story house where I live and how I managed to have coverage in all those little corners, even those hidden ones that I still need Wi-Fi to connect these smart devices around here that you know that are a lot and even on the roof for those smart things like temperatures and so on. So these two and these two are working in a mix of mesh and access points. This one is going back to TP-Link in a few days and these are not being used and during the video you will understand why. So I have one of these configured as an access point on the first floor which besides giving me top speeds in all the rooms and balconies upstairs it also provides Wi-Fi coverage to the smart devices on the roof like the energy meters of my solar system, the temperature and control sensors for the water heater and some surveillance cameras that are a bit higher up and yes that's way more speed than those devices need but when we try to reach more coverage we will also have more speed. On the ground floor I have this second unit which gives coverage to practically the entire floor the living room garage bedroom and balconies the only zone where it starts to lose it's the kitchen area and the front garden so what I did was to place the archer R5 as a satellite in the kitchen that gives it a boost and top speeds in that hidden zone and it also ends up by extending both range and speeds to my front garden and there I only have the video intercom outside of the street gate and behind a wall which has always been the hardest device to reach doesn't matter which device I've had because I've had quite a few but now it has top coverage and honestly I don't need those kind of high speeds on the street gate it's nice but it's not really necessary just like on the roof but once again once we get a bigger coverage we will also get faster speeds and we know that the 2.4 gigahertz has lower speeds and bigger coverage 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz faster speeds and lower coverage but these and these have such a great coverage that this is just a cause of having more coverage and here on the basement I only have one Archer R5 just next to my window with the purpose of not only giving me top speeds here on the office but also reaching the pool pump room which is the hardest area to cover we also have some smart devices running as you guys know so it's two extremes of the house the entrance gate with the video doorbell and the pool machine room which is something not easy to achieve with any device just by its own but I do have areas where I do have overlaps where I do grab the signal from this but I'm also grabbing the signal from this and what happens is that regardless if it's on mesh or not my phone or my laptop will capture the signal of the one that it's near to me and it will grab that signal for better performance for example the Archer R5 here on the office is not in the mesh which is a limitation that I will share with you in just a moment now do I need all these units two plus two to cover this area if you see the individual reviews you will see that I don't I really don't but there are areas that are dead zones where I wanted to have better coverage I didn't want to worry about if I need a power line because it's a solution that I've used through the years and you can check on the channel all the solutions that I've tested power lines and so on and so forth and I wanted to have freedom in terms of the area and at this moment I did accomplish with these two units and these two units and if you take a look at the link down below it's a solution that in terms of price to the performance that we get it's awesome. Robert should I buy the same setup that you have right over there? No not at all. My advice is first of all check out the individual reviews right over there you will have a better idea of the configuration of my house and the performance of each of these right over here so that you can calculate by yourself which one you will need and when you decide if you need this one or this one or this kit right over here I wouldn't purchase all these I would purchase just one and then after one month 
two months, six months, if you find yourself with the dead spot, with the zone that it's not reaching what you want, then go for the second unit. And it doesn't need to be this one if you don't think that you need that much power. It can be one like this or it can be a set like this. So that would be my suggestion. Now, there are differences between the Archer family and the Deco family. And although I believe that price to performance, I'm preferring the Archer, although this one here costs more or less the same price of these three units, but the range is spectacular. There is one downside here which can be overcome, and that's called Ethernet back hole. If I take a look at the Deco X10, and of course we have a lot more models to choose from, they are a lot more powerful, but all have one thing in common, which is Ethernet backhaul. And that means that I can connect one unit near to my router. Imagine that's here on the basement. And then I do have two other floors. And imagine that I want to connect this one on the topper floor. If I don't have Ethernet backhaul, what I will have to do is to add via mesh Wi-Fi. And that means that it will need to pass through two floors. Probably I want to put one on the middle, but just so that we can check this example better. And when the Wi-Fi reaches here, it's weak. So this one is going to send the signal to my phone, to my laptop, that's uh, already weak signal. On the other hand, if I have the ability to connect a Ethernet cable here on my router, but if I also have an Ethernet cable on my top floor, I will connect via Ethernet back hole. And in this particular case, I will have the maximum speed on my top floor and the maximum speed on the basement floor, which is awesome. And that's what's lacking on the Archer family, at least these right over here. And I believe that it's the whole family, but I might be wrong because I only tested these. So for example, on my ground floor level, where I do have one of these, and then I do have an Archer R5 on the kitchen that I did show to you, and they are in mesh, but Wi-Fi mesh. And in that particular area, I don't have any cables whatsoever, so it had to be through Wi-Fi. But the unit here on the office is not connected via mesh with the Ethernet back all because it's not possible to do that. So the way that I've got the R5 here on the office configured is as an access point. Where I do connect the Ethernet cable, it will act as an access point with the same SSID or the same Wi-Fi network, the same password, but it's not actually in mesh. Does it work well? Yes, it does work really well. On the first floor, the unit that I've got there, it's not in mesh as well. It is as an access point as well, so that I can take full advantage of the Ethernet connectivity that I've got upstairs, and I can spread the signal for the first floor without any limitations. Because if I did connect in mesh to this unit here, which would be possible, it would be Wi-Fi, but there is one floor of gaps, so we would lose a few things. And believe me, I did tests and tests and tests, and as an access point is working great, as an access point working great, as main router and as a mesh Wi-Fi unit extender, all of them working great. So theoretically, and on the app, you will see that it's not in a complete mesh, but having the same SSID, and probably because being of the same family, what I do feel is that the roaming is really, really fast. So when I move from the kitchen to the front yard or to the backyard, I don't miss any spot. I will just keep on pushing and pushing whatever I need, and it works great. It would be best if it was on a complete mesh Ethernet back all, because I'm sure that the end off would be faster, but nonetheless, it's working great. So although it's a limitation, there's a workaround, which is what I'm using right now, and it's working great, and hopefully will help you to decide what is the best setup for you. Archer family or Deco family. If the video was helpful, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.